Okay, here's a uh, roofed wall or what we refer to in the roofing industry as a hog valley. Uh, it, it's kind of a small hog valley, but there's one on either side. This is a common thing with a lot of the newer homes. Uh, they put a, a gabled roof uh, over the front entry area and then you have a hog valley on both sides of that entry. Uh, this, this roof is relatively uh, young. It's about a five, six year old house, maybe seven. Uh, the, the flashing's nice and clean. Everything's good here. But this is a common cause of leakage. When these get full of leaves and debris, you know, it dams the water up in there and then it backs up and goes where it's not supposed to go. So for all you homeowners out there, keep those little areas cleaned out if you can get to them. If not, have a roofer come up and uh, check those every couple years. Uh, looks like we have a slip tile under there. This roof, I think, is seven years old. So it's got, uh, it's got a lot of life left in it. Just needs a little work. There's a broken tile over here. And uh, another broken tile that I saw uh, earlier in the inspection. So anyway, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good here. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Now that's a, a lesser pitch on the back. And uh, when we certify roofs or warrant them, we don't certify anything less than a two and a half and 12 pitch. Um, that's not got a, uh, a rolled roofing or a flat application roof on it. This is really close. So this may, may be excluded. This portion of the roof may be excluded from our uh, certification. Uh, no good reputable roofer certifies uh, low sloping roofs or flat roofs. They, it, they're just so problematic and, and very difficult to... Uh, to uh, find and solve the problems of leaks. So, uh, you know, if a guy wants to certify a roof that's near flat or a patio or a whole flat roof, I'd be a little leery that he'll be in business for a long time doing it. So, there you go.